Hi friends, this is Surajit Ray here. In my counseling sessions and motivational workshops, people often ask me this question. What do I need to do to find true success and happiness in life? So, I'm making this brief video summing up everything that I have learned out of life and my reading in the last 20 years. This is a self-reading brief video with some wonderful things to take back. So, please do not skip any portions of this video. The first thing to understand here is that the definition of success and happiness varies from person to person. Let me give you an example here. I personally know a school teacher who taught all his life in a humble village school. He was a great teacher who transformed the lives of thousands of students. Most of his students rose from their humble backgrounds and became doctors, engineers, architects, chartered accountants and so on. They all unanimously credited this teacher for showing them the right path during childhood and inspiring them to lead a life full of knowledge, respect and dignity. Most of his students today hold respectable positions in the corporate world or are successful entrepreneurs or great doctors. It was very natural and easy for them to not study and continue as farmers in the village in which they lived. But this teacher inspired them, showed them the right path and helped them discover their true potential. This teacher spent all his life in poverty. He joined that school when he was 24 years old. This was his first and last job. He retired from that school as the headmaster when he was 60. In his 36 years of teaching career, he remained poor and marginal all along. How much would a teacher in a village school really earn end of the day? But he shaped thousands of lives. Today, when I speak to him, he has no regret of leading a humble and marginal life. He is happy that thousands shall remember him for all their lives. His true wealth is the respect he commands in the eyes of his students and their families and the tons of good karma he has built by positively influencing so many lives. So, though he is humble, poor and lives in a small village, I see him as one of the most successful and happy people I have ever met. His village had only mud houses till a couple of decades back. Today, every house in his village is well made, almost like a small bungalow, thanks to his well-placed students. In fact, this village no longer appears like a village. It looks like a prosperous small town now. Further, a few of his students forced the teacher to move out of his humble home and they constructed a beautiful bungalow for him in which he and his wife live happily today. This humble teacher went on to change the future of a whole village by doing his job well. Now, isn't that true success? Isn't that true happiness? So, firstly, it is very important to define what success and happiness means to you. For Bill Gates or Mukesh Ambani, success and happiness meant being a corporate monarch. For Swami Vivekananda, success and happiness meant spiritual enlightenment. For this humble teacher, success and happiness meant shaping lives and transforming young children into successful professionals. Hence, the first step towards being successful and happy is to figure out what success and happiness really means to you and then working towards it. I list hereafter 25 valuable lessons which I picked up from my life and the little reading I was privileged to do in the last 20 years of my life. These shall help you achieve true success and happiness in life basis what these terms actually mean to you. I would request you to read through them and carry them back into your life. I end my talking here. You will have to yourself read and absorb these 25 beautiful lessons hereafter. All the very best to you. I pray and wish that you have a great life ahead full of true success, joy and happiness. God bless you. Thank you.